Hi guys, Miss Brandy. Uh, welcome to my channel. This is my very first YouTube video. And I am, for this one, I'm going to be practicing on how, getting familiar with YouTube and the camera. Hopefully this one works for me. If not, I'll have to swap it out for something different. Right now I have my phone set up to record. Um, so what I want to do is I've had a lot of people ask me how I do my dot paintings and um, yeah, it's kind of hard to see if I can kind of scroll it over but there's kind of like a little wall over there of some of the ones I've done. You see the guitar and so I have done quite a few. I think I've done just over a hundred so far. Um, so this video, this first one is to just kind of give you guys the basics. And we're going to do a really, 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 really small, we're going to use a 6x6 six six canvas. And um, we're going to do a really small dot painting just to kind of show you my process and what I go through. So I'm going to, if I can, take the video off of me and see if that works. So hold on one second. Okay, that worked. I was able to swap it. So I'm gonna try and see if this works so you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, but first I wanna show you the tools that we're gonna be using for this. Um, I have a little tray of tools that I use to make my dots. A lot of people wanna know. These ones are a stylus, they're a stylus, and they come in a set of three, and actually Martha Stewart sells this set, and you'll see there's six different size dots on the end that kind of will show you the different sizes that you'll probably get. Some of them, like this little really tiny one, I don't, I don't use, it's just super small. Um, or if you have no luck finding Martha Stewart ones, Michaels, if you have a Michaels, or if you don't, some I know in the United States, Michaels will ship. Michaels sells this stylus set, and this set I think is like $5, sorry. I think the Martha Stewart one was like maybe $10. I'm not really, can't remember the exact number that I paid for this, but with a coupon, it works if you have a Michaels. Uh, so this set actually has five different size dots. You can also use, I wanted to show you, you can also use a toothpick. You can also use the, bat, the bottom of a paintbrush so that these make really great dots. For my larger dots, a lot of people want to know, I, I was initially using, because of finances, trying to didn't want to spend a lot of money dowels just wooden dowels I went and purchased a little bag of craft dowels and I use the ends because they're round and um, they gave me great size dots um, since then I ended up purchasing crochet hooks two packages because there's um, different sizes and if you pull them out you'll see the bottom is nice and flat so it makes a nice it makes a nice round dot and I do like the variety so I did get two packages picked these up at Walmart um, I think it was like maybe 12 bucks for, for two packages and um, I use these quite quite often so we're gonna be using those and I'm also gonna be oh and of course I didn't bring my oh there it is um, my little compass we're gonna be using one of these and they come with a pencil and I like the ones that just come undone and I use these uh, white chalk they work great if you have a little sharpener they fit right in this is my little prismacolor sharpener sharpen it up you got a nice fine point don't forget to blow off the end because chalk will um, spread and, you, and that will make your paint a little clumpy so I just kind of put it back in 
hold it down and twist it. Whoops, of course. There, just kind of hold it in place. All right, my, that's my ruler that keeps falling. So I do have a plastic ruler and then I have another um, chalk pencil because I will be using that. So this canvas, I did prep it. I used a six by six. This is a six by six. And I like to use Liquitex Professional Black Color Gesso. You can buy black gesso, um, you can buy black canvas. However, I prefer using painting the back of it, the black the black myself because if I make a mistake I have the exact color black to cover it up um, if you buy the canvas that's already um, black then sometimes it's hard to match it and then you're gonna be able to tell that there's an imperfection when you do make a mistake and believe me you will because I do all the time okay for this painting I want to do something really small so I kind of showed you did like a little sketch of a butterfly uh try to keep it really really simple what i like to do is i will sketch on a um, piece of paper and if it's a design i i like i mean i might not be exact to what i'm going to be using but if it's very very close to what i'm using i will use the design so for this I'll show you guys how I kind of like I mean I like the size of the wings I think it's gonna look okay I will cut I should be a little bit more prepared I will cut the butterfly a little bit smaller so you can kind of see how it is with ratio to the canvas nope and that is my dog I have three dogs so I'm just warning you all um, and I do have a cat so you'll probably see her see her at some point so here's my little design. I'm gonna kinda eye it where I wanna put it. And I'm thinking I'd like a blade of grass on the side. So I'm gonna get the butterfly closer to the side. So what I'm gonna do, this is an old school method of transferring images. Take a piece of chalk, just white plain chalk. Or if you have a white canvas, you can use a dark colored chalk so you can really see it. Just cover it out, cover the back. And then blow off the excess. And then place your image on the canvas right where you think you want it. And I think I kind of want it right, I think I want it right there. It is good to have painter's tape handy just to kind of hold the image in place so you're not moving it all over the place. And for this, I do like to use a pencil. Like I like the mechanical pencils because they have a nice fine tip. So what I'm gonna show you, I this is a rough, so it might not look exact when we paint it, but for, a, for drawing, put your palm on the canvas so it gives you more of more control. I'm just gonna kinda go like this and down. And then I don't be afraid to turn your canvas if you need to. And then I'm gonna turn it. Kind of see the wings. Butterfly has a, they have a head, so I'm gonna do a little head. We don't have to really do the wing, the antennas. We'll do, we can do those after. Then they have like a body. It's bigger up top. Then it gets smaller down below. So you can kind of sketch one in. It's just a guideline. Um, we are gonna do like a blade of grass. So let's give ourselves a blade of grass. Give ourselves, give the little butterfly some legs. So we'll just do two in the back, kind of two in the front. 
here I might as well give her give her some uh, antennas or actually I think I'm probably gonna go like that there you go kind of see rough very rough draft sketch so if you kind of peek you'll see Ooh, I can kind of see the image with the chalk if you guys can see that yeah I can see it so chalk it gives you a rough outline if something didn't come in just kind of go a little bit harder or you just didn't get enough chalk on there and I'm gonna take this off yep butterfly is all sketched in um, so you don't get clumpy uh, paint when you when you don't get clumps for your uh, dots I recommend this is just like an old um, blush that I used to use when I wore makeup I don't wear makeup now but if I, I cleaned it out and I didn't want to get rid of it this makes a great um, I use this for all my every time I do dot paintings I lightly wipe off the excess so I just kind of brush it a little bit so I can still see the image but all the little chunks of clock of uh, chalk come right off so I still can see my image but if I didn't when you put your dot down because of those little fine grains of chalk left on your canvas you will get clumps okay for this we are seriously gonna do just two colors but I actually have four I have four um three shades of green so if you have just three different shades I'm going to be using a festive green. This is Deco Art Americana Acrylic Fluid Paint. Really like fluid paint. It makes dot perfect dots. You can use a um, you can use like a professional paint like this, but because it's in a tube, you're gonna have to. Um, dilute it or uh, make it a lot thinner so you would have to use like an acrylic glazing liquid medium it just kind of makes it a little bit more liquid or you can also buy golden has their own um, brand of fluid paints but they can be quite expensive and the variety of colors isn't as they don't have quite the variety like the deco art does so i do like the deco art acrylic paint um, so I'm using festive green, hazier, light green, and an iris moss. So there's just three different shades. And then you guys are going to find out this is my absolute favorite color. So I use this for all of my paintings. I have stock in this color. I mean, I love this color. This is the Deco Art Dazzling Metallics, uh, white pearl. It makes all of my paintings pop makes them look there like there's gems and jewels on my canvases so just wanted to kind of show you guys this is my favorite color I do reuse these so I will be um, you'll see there's lots of paint and stuff on them but these work great for pouring um, dumping my paint out and putting them in these little canvases all right in these little uh, holders sorry <laughs> You can tell I'm rushing and it's because my dogs want to eat. And so I'm going to probably have to put this on hold so I can finish. Um, but it, a lot of people use the caps. They just flip the cap open and then just dip out of that. I do that, but I find that I make such a huge mess with the tops of these that I can't get them back on or I can't get them off. So... Um, because my hands are not that great, I'm having to use one of these to open them. Uh, so I, I just started using, picking up a couple of these. And then my husband, you can get these little containers. Like my husband likes to have mashed potatoes. I don't eat mashed potatoes. And these come, mashed, his mashed potatoes comes in these containers. So if any container that is completely sealed, you can kind of like make your own little wet palette. And I put a piece of, piece of cloth in there, wet it down, and put my um, uh, little, um, oh, now I'm totally drawing a blank, my paint in here with a um, 
Yeah, I'm totally drawing a blank, so you guys are going to have to excuse me. But it, actually, what I'm trying to say is it holds your paint, so it reserves it so it doesn't dry out. So that's what I do. And I am going to be adding to this one. So I'll just take this out, and I'm going to mix, put my colors in here. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And I kind of like to do the darker color, the different shades, so I know which order I'm going. Make sure you shake it. If you do not shake these, sometimes the colors will separate. Uh, and this one that I told you I'm going to be using, I actually have, it's, it already has its own container because I use it all the time. So I just keep it in one of these little containers and um, it's already, it's got a whole bunch in there. So I will use that. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure you guys can see, hopefully you can. Once I start, uh, whoops, see I did something. There we go. Once I start doing my, my dots, you'll be able to see what I'm, what I'm doing. So the first thing I want to do is give this a body before I do anything. So probably I'm going to use my crochet hooks to give myself a big dot. So I'm going to use the white, my uh, white pearl. See? I kind of just like stick it in there and it's kind of, you can see a little bit clump on the end. Just get a lot on there. And I'm going to just put it down. Hold your hand right straight up and down. And I like to hold, have my hand resting on the canvas so I'm not all over the place. So that was one big dot for the top. Make sure you have a something to wipe the ends off while you're done. Next, I'm gonna do another size because we're gonna, with a butterfly's body, this is not gonna be exact like what a butterfly would look like, but a, uh, it's gonna be close enough. I'm just gonna keep what I like. See, I keep taking out the different sizes. So I, I just go down to the next size and the next size and the next size. And then, whoops. And then, I am going to actually use this one. Because I'm going to make this a little bit tapered. So I'm going to go, what, whoops. One, two, three. And, oops, okay, so that is the body. Probably we should do the head because that would be important. So we're gonna give the, give the butterfly a little, little head. So you can kind of see it coming together. Yeah, I realize I need to have the camera positioned so you're not looking at it sideways. Yes, that is a uh, must. Okay, so next we're going to outline the wings. This is a small, I'm just, you can use any size. I'm just going to use a small tip. And using my white only, I'm going to move the paint out of the way. I'm just using my white pearl paint only. I am going to put my hand on the canvas and see how it just kind of rotates nice and easily. I'm going to... Follow my outline. And I'm sorry, but this will, I will try to go as fast as I can without making too many mistakes. Don't be afraid to turn your canvas. And 
the butterfly. You can do any, seriously, any size. The wings could be any size. Any shape. This butterfly is just like, kind of like my imagination one. Because we're just going to, this butterfly is just going to be out of pearls. She's going to look like pearls. I'm going to start down here and work my way up for the bottom wing. Uh, every time I re reload my tip, I can get two or three dots. If I kept working, the dots would just keep getting smaller and smaller. I'm trying to keep them consistent right around the same size. It does take practice, but believe me, the more you practice, the faster you'll get with these. Turn the canvas. Just be careful you don't put your, your um, palm into that because you can do it. I do that. I've done it before. I mean, I definitely make mistakes. Keep turning my hands. I need to make a bridge so I can have my hand resting on it. I haven't gotten around to making one. It's where your hand, it's like a little platform for your hand while you, uh, while you paint. I just haven't gotten around to it. Hopefully you can see this is starting to come together. I call this my ugly stage. Everybody, I say that all the time when I post a painting and um, people are like, what the heck? That's not an ugly, but yeah, it is. It's just, it's the ugly stage for me. It's where, it, oops, and oh, look, oh, phew. You get to see that I, how I made a mistake. I always have paint brushes on hand so you can just sit there and wipe off the excess if you don't like the dot. And this is why having your paint, your background paint available. That's why it's nice to have it. I just put a couple, a drop in and I will use that to wipe off so you can't see it. If anytime I make little mistakes, you just kind of wipe it off and take your paintbrush and rinse it off. And then keep going. So let's see. Yeah, we're going to go this way. Let's see if I can go. Um, Okay, see my wings? Perfect. Now, let's give the butterfly a couple, the wings some designs. So I would use, okay. I'm gonna do a really, really, really large one in the corner. So let's do this. I, seriously, you can do whatever you want for your designs. I'm just, this is just, there's one, and then let's do load this up. So I mentioned if I kept moving the, the paint, walking it, it, the dots would get smaller. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to go one. Whoops, make it a little bit bigger. Got a nice scoop of paint. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's one there. We'll do one down. One, two, three, four, five, 
six. Fine. And let's do, actually, I'm going to kind of make this one a little bit. Looks a little bit better. You guys can see. For that wing, butterflies have like veins. So we're going to do our own. And this I'm just seriously going to, um, I can sketch it. Let's see if I can do that lightly. Don't use too much chalk because then I'm going to have to erase it. And I really don't want to do that. So, kind of do something like this, and then maybe, yeah, all right, that's not too bad. Okay, so I gave myself a couple wings. I'm going to use a small paintbrush to kind of wipe the chalk off. If you don't, you will get chunks of paint, and you're not going to like it lumpy, lumpy dots and you will not like it okay so let's outline that top careful you do not touch that so it might be better to go this way okay I'll do this one first you can look at a butterfly's wing and you can have an idea of the different um, veins, the patterns. I just kind of do what looks nice to me. <laughs> so. see this I think I'm gonna go down just a couple more and then this one let's do So I would say this is this technique is you can say it's like pointillism um, where it's a painting is just done with dots or you can say it's some mandala because you're using patterns but um, I just kind of call it my own little technique of something I came up with and because I just kind of stumbled it on my on my own there's the top wing not too too bad um and next let's do the bottom one so this usually like usually you have like a big one that comes out and this would come out right i'm thinking like that that and we'll do something like Maybe something like that. That. Yeah. Just whatever you want to do. That's why I like chalk. You kind of can play with the design. See if it's something you like. Um, yeah, and I don't want to go over too far. So if you don't like the chalk, get a your paintbrush a little wet and wipe it off. Some of it I don't like. Just to kind of give you an idea. That is my dog, Olivia. She, she is being temperamental because she wants attention and she wants everybody to say it's dinner time so I'd get up. But they eat at five and Five o'clock to her is starting at three. All right, so it's kind of like a sketch. 
we see something. All right, for this, let's just, I, I need to get a, uh, a brush and wipe off the excess chalks. If I don't, I will have lumps and I don't want that. Okay. So for this, let's just continue outlining. So let's do kind of giving it a curve just a little bit so it will give my uh, wings a little bit more natural look and then let's see if I did came down let's do Sorry, I'm kind of concentrating a little bit. Okay, there, and because we did that design on the outside, up there on the wing, let's do the same thing over here. I'm gonna do something similar. So I'll do one big one there, one, two, three. Another big one there, one, two, three. And do, I think I'll do one more here, one, one, two, three. Okay. All right. Wings. Done. Good enough. Perfect. Now, for this, let me see if I can. Okay, I did have to pause the camera just so I could feed the dogs. Because uh, Olivia was reminding me that it was close to 5 o'clock. All right, so you can see we kind of have the outline, the body. We just need to do the antennas, and we're going to do a blade of grass. And that is, that's it for this video, because this is my first YouTube video, and I just, you know, I'm learning, figuring this out as I go, <laughs> how to record and do instructions at the same time. So please bear with me. So you saw that I put the three different colors in and I'm thinking I'm only gonna use two colors. So I'm just for a time crunch because I realize how long this video is. So let's just do a blade of grass. I would put it this way and do it, but because I'm right-handed, knowing me, I would put my hand on the butterfly and ruin the wings. So with grass, it's thicker at the bottom 
and then it gets thinner as you go up. So we're just going to try to line dot, dots up best we can. They do not have to be perfectly lined because it's grass and grass is not perfectly straight. So, oops. I feel like because I'm rushing, I'm making quite a few little boo-boos, but oh well. This is just the this is just my thought process on how I do these. Actually, we're getting close to the top, so let's move to a smaller stylus. So if I kind of go like this. I didn't like where I put it, so I'm a recent. You'll never see it there. All right. And I probably should. Um, add a little detail in the grass. So let me do like a darker color in between all the dots on both sides, kind of going like this. It just gives the, makes the blast grass look a little bit thicker. And so I'm just, I'm, I have a really fine tip. It's really small. There's barely a little dot on the end and it's just enough to make little dots. If you didn't have, this you could you really could use like a toothpick I'm believing I have used toothpicks before I'm hoping to rush this because I definitely don't want my first video to be an hour oh my goodness I have to go to a smaller tip. Where is that? Oh, there it is. This is the other end. Okay. Okay. Kind of see it gives a little bit more. Maybe you can't. I would add on to this, but let me, let's finish the butterfly and I think we're going to call it good. Okay. So the butterfly needs, let's use the, the really, really small tip and the butterfly needs some legs coming on to this. So let's do, let's go and we'll go back. Do this and keep going again. And then we'll do some legs in the front. So let's do. Uh -huh. Trying to eye it best I can. That 
that is Olivia playing with her toy. And let's do some antennas coming off. All right, so let's just have them tilting. So if you do a couple big dots and then just keep walking them, whoops. picky. There. And if you want, you can add more detail to the butterfly. I'm just going to kind of go down a little bit more. So make it look like it's coming I think that's, I just wanted to add a little bit. And then you can outline the butterfly to kind of give it more detail if you want to. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna do that. I haven't really decided. thinking I'm going to. All right, here we go. When you do it, you just do it. Just want to and then so I'm just for me, I'm just kind of like outlining them a little bit. Definitely don't have to do this. I just kind of felt like he was missing something. But sometimes less is more. But with me, I I never know when enough is enough. My friend Don would agree with me on that. Oh, Brandy, it was fine just the way it was. But whatever. And probably should give the tip of the antenna a little. There. What do you think? Good? That would be it. I don't want to do too much. I usually do, like, colors and all of that. But for this first video, let's call this good. Because we're almost at 45 minutes. All right. Well, thank you guys for tuning in and hopefully you learned a little bit from what I was doing. I please bear with me. I know there'll be a lot of criticism with this video, but I'm just learning. This is my very first video. So just remember where you were at when you did your first video. Uh, I have a lot to learn and I really wasn't going to do these, but I keep getting people asking me to do them. So of course, uh, I figured I would do some. Um, this, I do do a drawing every month on my Facebook page, Dot Art by Brandy. So what I'm, at, I'm going to do is add this to the collection because I'm doing one every month. So this will be month three. Um, this will be for the month of March. February's is going to be announced tomorrow, and it's this we're giving this one away in the month of February. Uh, so these small ones I'll use for uh, free, I'll do for free drawings. So don't forget to follow my Facebook page and to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to stay informed or let me know what I need to do but to improve, but oh well. All right, thank you guys. Have a good one.